This time, let us prepare for NAPOLCOM PNP Entrance Examination. In this presentation, we will talk about more on criminal justice system. This is already the part 3. From our part 2, we talk about the requisites to have dolo or malice. So, as we have talked about, there must be freedom, intelligence, or intent. These three elements must be present, otherwise, there can be no dolo or malice if any of these is absent. Now, let us go with requisites of crime by culpa or fault. So, the only difference between requisites by crime, requisites of crime by dolo and by culpa is the negligence and the intent. In culpa, there must be freedom, intelligence, and negligence. Imprudence or lack of foresight or lack of skills. But in dolo, there must be the intent. But here in requisites crime committed by culpa, there must be freedom, intelligence, and negligence. Negligence or imprudence or lack of foresight or lack of skills. So, any of these, these three requisites must be present in order to have um, crime by culpa. Otherwise, there can be no crime by culpa. And as I review, if a person, there must be freedom. If a person has no freedom or a, has no ability to, to do whatever he wishes, then therefore he is a tool. Then it is subject to circ exempting circumstances. Intelligence. If a person has no intelligence, um, cannot distinguish the right from wrong or cannot perceive um, the consequences of his actuation, then therefore um, it, he or she is imbecile, insane, or nine years, a minor, nine years old, or less than 15, over 9, but less than 15 years old, acted without discernment, then subject for this, for exempting circumstances. Now, let us proceed with stages in the execution of crime. There are three. Attempted crime, frustrated crime, and consummated crime. First, in attempt, from the word attempted, it's at an attempt. There is an attempt when the offender commences the commission of crime of a felony directly by overt acts. There, it commences the commission of a felony directly by overt acts and does not perform all the acts of execution which produced the felony by reason of some, act, some cause or accident other than his own spontaneous desistance. So, the accused here is already commencing the committing the the commission of crime of felony there is an attempt already but does not perform all acts of execution due to accident or by cost other than his own spontaneous desistance it means to say there is an outside force or there is um for example if a person is about to burn the house, preparing already the um, flammable materials, about to burn the house, but the owner was able to prevent him from causing the, from, from burning the house or burning the property. So therefore, that the owner, the act of the owner preventing the accused is already an act and a cause a cause other than the accused's spontaneous desistance. It is not against his will, but from outside force, from outside or from other force that, that prevents him to perform or commit or to execute the crime. That is attempt. It's about to attempt or it's about to commit. There is an attempt of crime. And... Second, it's the frustrated, frustrated crime. It is frustrated when the offender performs all the acts of execution, which would produce the felony as a consequence, but which nevertheless do not produce it by reason of causes independent of the will of the perpetrator. 
So, so how is how is this attempted crime differ from frustrated crime? In attempted crime, let us take the example of an arson. The accused is already preparing the flammable materials, placing already in the the intended house to be burned. The accused is already preparing or placing already the the gasoline, the flammable materials within the premises. But the owner or other person prevents him or repels him to do that. In frustrated crime, the accused was already burning. The, the house is already started to burn. There is already um, fire already. There is already fire causing the property to be damaged. But by reason, it of causes independent of the will of the perpetrator or the accused, there was prevention. But there, it's about already to burn, but it was frustrated. It was stopped. But there was already, it already commences or produces the felony. But does not produce by reason of causes independent of the will of the perpetrator because there is someone who prevents it by throwing water or the fireman about to uh, was already there then it does not prevent the entire burning only um frustrate on it only frustrate it stops only but that does not entirely burn the house in frustrated crime the intent to commit the crime intent to commit the act with malice being purely a mental process intent to commit the act with malice is only mental is presumed and the presumption arises from the proof of the commission of an unlawful act so there is already even the intent the intent to commit the act was already is purely mental process and it's already the presumption arises from the circumstantial evidence from the circumstances proof of the commission of an unlawful act so it's already the in, there is the intent already to burn the intent to burn because presence of flammable materials the presence of burned already so but independent of this will independent of the depend, independent of the will of the accused or of the offender it was stopped so it was frustrated now consummated consummate a crime is consummated when all the elements necessary for its execution and accomplishment are present. It was burned. It was burned already. Consummated. So the formula is crime is equals to instrumentality plus opportunity over resistance or motive. So we will not deal more about this one. We will deal more how this work this formula work it is the means or implements if we say instrumentality instrumentality means the means or implements used in the commission of the crime the tools it could be a firearm a bolo a fan knife an ice pick poison or obnoxious substances, a crowbar, a battery-operated hand drill for car napping, motor vehicle. So the, those are the instru such examples for instrumentality in committing crime, firearm, for illegal possession of firearm, I illegal possession of uh, loose firearms if unlicensed or about to commit murder, bolo also, fun knife, and I speak poison. While the opportunity consists of acts or omission by a person, the victim, which enables another person or a group of persons, the criminals, to operate the crime. Examples include leaving one's home, crime-prone alley, Wearing expensive jewelry in the, lam, in the slum area, 
readily admitting a stranger into one's residence and the like. So the opportunity here refers to being open. The opportunity to for an accused or an offender to commit a crime. If the house is or if a person is wearing expensive jewelry, then there is an opportunity for the accused or offender to violate or to, to commit theft. Or a person, a stranger, a stranger was allowed or permitted to enter into one's residence. So there can be possibility that that stranger would cause crime, would commit theft, would commit robbery or uh, murder. So that's the opportunity. While motive, it's a driving force or the moving force, moving power, which impels one to action or to act for a definite result. Refers to the reasons or cause why a person or a group of persons will perpetrate a crime. So that's the motive. Now, so those are the stages of stages of execution of crime, attempted crime, frustrated crime, and consummated. It consummate. It thought entirely burns the house if it is consummated. Instrumentality. These are refers to the tools in committing crime. The opportunity for opportunity refers to the um the opportunity for the offender to commit the crime and the motive is the driving force the reason why the accused or the offender to commit a crime now classifications of crime so these are the qualifications of crimes first felony second misdemeanor third offense and mala inse and mala prohibita so felony we talk already more about recently about felony but what is felony felony is an act or omission in violation of revised penal code so those act or omission as stipulated in the revised penal code a violation of that is considered as felony while misdemeanor an act or omission in violation of city or municipal ordinance misdemeanor or also can be can be equal to infraction misdemeanor or infraction of ordinance while offense it's an act or omission punishable by special penal laws if it is if it is an if an act or omission is punishable by revised penal code felony if it is punishable by special laws special penal laws that is offense but if it is um, a violation of a city or municipal ordinance, it's a misdemeanor or infraction. Now, let's go to mala inse and mala prohibita. Mala inse, the act is wrong from their nature. So, there is malice such as theft, rape, homicide. Crimes in mala inse are those so serious in their effects on society as to call for almost unanimous condemnation of its members. So, as you can observe, theft, rape, and homicide, murder, these are um, crimes that are under revised penal code, the RPC. But not all crimes in revised penal code can be considered as mala inse. Malversation. Malversation is stipulated or is under the by spinal code, but it is not mala inse. It is classified as mala prohibite. Mala prohibita. What do you mean by mala prohibita or mala prohibitum? Mala prohibita, these are act. The act is wrong, but there is a law or statute prohibiting it, such as illegal possession of firearms. Crimes mala prohibita are violations of mere rules of convenience designed to secure a more orderly regulation of the affairs of society. So in mala prohibita, these are acts not evil in nature, but there is a law punishing such act. 
But not if, as you can observe, special penal laws are classified as mala prohibita. But not all special penal laws are considered as mala prohibita because they plunder. Plunder is a special penal law, but it is punished or classified as mala inse. It's, it's a special penal law, but it is mala inse, evil in nature. So those are the difference between mala inse and mala prohibita.